In building a green home, consideration must be given to each of the building materials used in construction. From manufacture to implementation, every material must follow strict criteria in order to truly reap the benefits of green construction. The materials used for the project should contain the least amount of embedded energy to manufacture and deliver to the site. Throughout the construction of our green home, architect Anthony Musso is careful to select indigenous materials within the region of the construction site. Many of the products that go into a building are composed of a variety of, of energy sources. One is the actual manufacturing of the product, and you try to find products that have the least amount of energy to produce that product. Um, the second is the transportation of that product from where it was manufactured to, to the site. The ideal condition is to use materials that are very local uh, within a very, very short distance, but the guidelines right now are to use a product that is within the 500 mile radius of the site. The thermosteel used to create much of the home's frame is manufactured and shipped in from Virginia. The inside and outside of the system uh, is steel. The steel is manufactured from at least 20% of uh, scrap metal, so the whole system works out to be a very low energy product. Roof trusses, which ultimately frame the unique shape of the roof, are fabricated in upstate New York. We're using uh, smaller members of uh, wood to construct the roof rather than using uh, major 2x12s to hold up the roof. So there's an efficiency of material by using roof trusses. Much of the new stone that will be used in key elements of the architectural design is quarried in Pennsylvania. The slate roofing that will comprise the outermost layer of the roof is quarried in Vermont. Bricks used in veneer wall construction are manufactured in Pennsylvania. Products that are used locally and regionally um, also help keep the local economy going. Buying materials uh, at a local level keep the cash flow within the, within the local area rather than buying products that are you know, thousands of miles away and the money just going out of uh, the area. The use of life cycle materials materials designed to last the entirety of a home's expected occupancy, possess an obvious appeal to sustainable building. The slate roofing is a 100-year material expected to provide an entire century of protection from the elements. The brick and stone found throughout the structure will also last more than 100 years, greatly reducing the need for replacement materials and costs that are common to other homes. What we're trying to achieve is a very low maintenance structure. Um, the slate, the uh, stone, veneer, the brickwork, um, even the thermosteel has a uh, long life to it. So the building has uh, low maintenance, uh, it's very durable, and will last for over 100 years. The life expectancy of other materials present within our green home is prolonged through the use of additional protective structures. The exterior doors, through which air and other elements often pass, are covered by porches to protect the door and its components from weather damage. Snow, ice, rain, driving rains, it all keeps the assemblies of the entranceways protected and it increases the durability and, and low maintenance of, of the entranceways. Further protection is provided by south exposure covered porches, which provide shade from the potentially damaging effects of the summer sun. These measures, combined with Anthony Musso's hand-picked array of building materials, will come together to create a green home of maximum efficiency.